Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to be ranking the places that we have visited. So as you can see, we've got our ranking list here and we're going to rank uh, these different places that we visited by these different categories. And the categories that we made up are the very best, must visit, second best, still very fun, average, nothing too amazing, incredible food, worth visiting because of some unique feature, and beautiful but too sketchy, hard to relax and have fun. We have Oman, Seville, Edinburgh, London, Rhonda, Sentinel, Gibraltar, Morocco, Paris, San Francisco, New York, Zurich, Chicago, and Seattle. All right, let's start ranking them. Let's start with Seville. I would say either incredible food or average, nothing too amazing. I definitely don't think it had incredible food. <laughs> so what but do you think? Um, I guess average. Average. I mean, it was really pretty. It just, I, don't, I wouldn't say that it was. Does it fit food. into worth visiting because of some unique feature? I wouldn't say so. No. Besides the fact that I was there. Yeah. <laughs> was I the unique feature? <laughs> you can't be now since you're not there. That's right. <laughs> okay. Average, nothing too amazing. Gibraltar goes in the worth visiting because of some unique feature. Because Gibraltar is like a little piece of England basically over there in Spain. And it's like this giant rock and people just live around it. And there's a giant cave inside the rock and you can go in there. And there's also monkeys and it's really cool. And you can see Africa from Gibraltar and everybody speaks English there even though it's basically in Spain, which is really weird. Okay, so I went to Oman after my freshman year of college, um, just on like a Maymester, and... The very best, you know, must visit? I'd say it's probably average. I mean, it was pretty cool, but like for me, it's just average. It wasn't like my favorite place. Not too sketchy? No, it wasn't that bad. Or at least the places I was, they weren't that bad. Do you want to tell them your bad story of what happened to you there? Um, I mean, I got flashed at like the mosque, which is weird. I think he was like a gardener or something. And, oh, like when you walk out of the airport when you first get there, it's like just dry heat, like it was awful. Next, I say Chicago. Mm. I think Chicago was beautiful, but too sketchy, hard to relax and have fun. Or, yeah, I think <laughs> that's the only one that it fits in. Yeah, I think, I mean, of course, there are some places that weren't sketchy, mm -hmm. but it was, like, hard to find. And we had a really, really good time in Chicago, actually. We yeah. went to Chicago because I was presenting a paper for a school project that I had done, and I was presenting at an academic con uh, conference, and we went and we did, like, all the tourist stuff. It was mm -hmm. actually a really good time, but the whole time there was just so many homeless people. Yeah. Like, and they were so much more aggressive than the homeless people even here in San Francisco. Yeah, they had to like escort people out of like the Chick-fil-A because they were just like... They were just sitting they were there eating good. our breakfast and they are kicking the homelesses out of yeah. Chick-fil-A. And I had the same experience when I went with my mom like a couple years before that too. So, so Chicago is beautiful but too sketchy, hard <laughs> to relax. All right, next. This place is called Rhonda and I'll put it in the worth visiting because of some unique feature. I went there when I was studying abroad in Spain and it's just a really small town in Spain. But what's cool about it is that it's on top of this massive cliff and it's just like right on top of this cliff. It looks like it could just fall off or you could just be walking down the sidewalk and you could just walk straight off this cliff. Um, but anyways, I'd say it's worth visiting because of some unique feature, just because you don't always see a city sitting right on top of a cliff, and it's really cool. Jesse and I went to Paris while he was studying abroad in Seville when I came to visit, and we only went for a couple of days. I think it's like second best. Okay, I mean, it's definitely now. worth visiting, but it has like a ton of unique features, like it's not just like one. Yeah. It's probably second best, but like we're going to We might move it. <laughs> I mean, there was so much to do there. We went, my favorite thing was we went to the catacombs. Um, yeah, so that's like an underground tunnel with like a bunch of bones and yeah. 
that's pretty much it. <laughs> like, it was really cool. Dead bodies. Yeah, we went to the um, Louvre Museum. Is that what it's called? Louvre, I think. Yeah. I call it Louvre. We went to the Louvre. <laughs> no, the Louvre. The, the Louvre? I don't know. We went to the museum with the Mona Lisa, and that was cool. Yeah. And we went up the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, Jesse didn't like that very much, but oh, it was a high. really cool view. Yeah. Anyways, there's a lot to do in Paris. Yeah. Next, I'll do one of mine. So this one also goes in the worth visiting because of some unique feature. When I was studying abroad, I went to this tiny, tiny little town called Setanil, and what's cool about it is they have houses that are built into the mountain that the town is like built next to. And so these people have like the back of their house and the roof of their house is made of the rock of the mountain. I went to Zurich for a whole lot of time, a long time, three hours. <laughs> <laughs> On a layover. Yeah, and it was actually really pretty and I really want to go back again and like do like spend like a week there or something or like a week in Switzerland. Um, but I didn't eat there. It was just like I saw like no homeless people. Everyone was like very nice. Everything was clean. Second best. Yeah, let's put that as the second <laughs> best too. All, All right. right. Wait, it was better than Seville. Oh yeah. You think? I mean, for me, I liked it better okay. than Seville. It was nicer and like cleaner. Right. Yeah. All right. Next, New York. New just go York. right for it. Is it the very best? I mean. For me, New York is my favorite city. I think that I liked our trip to Paris better than our trip to New York. Well, actually. Jesse's trip to New York, like, it was cold and he hates the cold and we had like a bad experience with some crazy guy and I just feel like he didn't get like the full New York. But when I was with Liv, like, it was like summer and it was just perfect, but but we also went and saw the ball drop well. But I feel like I feel like it's very best much to visit. And if we're gonna have multiple in the tiers, I feel like we have to put Paris yeah, up there let's too. Yeah, put Paris up there too. Because just like the amount of fun we had on those two trips yeah. was so much more than any other place we visited. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Except maybe one, which we will get to later. <laughs> so, also when I was studying abroad, I went to. Morocco and I went to uh, like three different cities in Morocco. I went to Tetouan, Chefchaouen, and Tangier and China. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's Arabic, but um but anyway, so I went to three different cities while I was there and it was really cool, really beautiful a little bit. Like between the cities was really beautiful, but in the cities, I would say it was really sketchy. It was hard to relax. Like, seemed kind of dirty. I don't know. I wouldn't go back, but it was really cool to be able to say that I've been to Africa. So I'm really happy that I went, but I got to put it in the too sketchy, hard to relax and have fun category. I want to go back to Africa. Or I've never been to Africa, but I want to go to Africa and like go on a safari. Yeah. I don't know if that would be sketchy or not. Maybe. Probably not. Probably the city you fly into before you go on the safari. Maybe, yeah. You sketch. London. Where do you think London goes? Mm, second best? I really liked London, but I liked some other cities more. And I just, like, it wasn't too sketchy to, like, not enjoy, for sure. Like, it was fine. What do you think? I think it just goes in second best. Okay, there was more to do there, and the food was better than Seville, probably. Yeah. But there was not as much to do there as Paris and New York, I would yeah. say. And Paris and New York just felt more exciting. Yeah. So, but anyways, definitely has to go in But there's, like, best. a lot to do in London, obviously. Like, we did tons of stuff. Like, we didn't really run out, but we were there for, like, four days, and that was kind of enough. Yeah. So. Yeah, four days was enough. Yeah. Oh, um, if you go to London, you have to go to Mickey's Paradise or something like that. All right. Um. Okay, let's do Seattle. Seattle. Seattle is like the most recent place we went to, and it was a little sketchy, but only in some places. Yeah, 
same as San Francisco, like. Yeah. Like, it just depends on where you are. Well, I guess that's the same yeah. in any city, really, but. And we had a car while we were there, which really helped. Yeah. But, like, I wouldn't go back. Like, I have no desire to go back to Seattle. I don't think I'd go back unless I needed to. And the major downside, I would say, is besides eating out, and if you, like, we didn't want to go party or something like that, <laughs> and besides eating out, like, there wasn't there's, like a ton to do. Yeah, there's like, not that much to do. Stuff, and we were there for, like, three days. Yeah. You can go hiking, and we didn't want to go hiking. You know, yeah. Seattle's very, like, outdoorsy. You know, you can yeah. go kayaking, hiking, whatever. Mm -hmm. All right, so anyways, average. I guess, but I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. it's the same amount of fun as we had in Seville. We had way more fun in Seville than Seattle, but yeah. Yeah, Edinburgh. So I think we both agree yeah, where this goes. Yeah, very best. It's like, it might even be above New York for me just because it was, I don't know, it was just like perfect. Like there was nothing wrong with it. I have no complaints. Like. Yeah. I don't know. We had the absolute best time while we were there. Uh, my sister was studying abroad there when we visited. We were there for like five days and we were not bored the entire time that we were there. Even though it's a much smaller city than London, Paris, New York, we still were able to find yeah. so much to do. There's a castle that you can go through. There's like old churches. There's a graveyard that has Tom Riddle's grave where J.K. Yeah. Rowling like got inspired to I write Harry Potter. I think it was Potter. like very Harry Potter like yeah. if you're a Harry Potter fan you have to go to Edinburgh. The, the food was... It was so good and like we usually plan out like where we're gonna eat and stuff but we didn't plan out just because I knew nothing about Edinburgh and like there's not much stuff like on the internet about it. You know what? We should put Seattle in incredible food. Yeah because there wasn't that much to do, but we had incredible food while we were there. We had really good barbecue, and we had, we had what was the other thing we got? It was, we got barbecue one night. I like hamburgers. The hamburgers were so good too. Good. Okay, we can move Seattle. Because it's, I feel like it doesn't fit in average exactly. Yeah. Plus we have to have something to go with incredible food. True. Okay, but anyways, I would say Edinburgh was like incredible food. Like yeah. it is, the top incredible food and the very best place to visit but yeah since we can't put them in both oh man i wish we could put it in incredible food and the very best but i think it just has to go in the very best must visit we live in san okay. francisco we live in san francisco we might be a little now. biased on this one but we have the most information about it obviously yeah. but i think what we have to do is we have to think back to when we first came here to like visit. the first couple days. Yeah, so we first came here when Madison had a job interview in August 2019. And we were here for a few days for the job interview. And yeah. so, like, let's do our impression as if we were visiting then. What we Falling, thought. Falling so sad because we thought it was, like, the worst city ever. <laughs> San Francisco was really sketchy when we first visited. There was, like, a ton of homeless scary crazy people outside like our hotel and everything and we stayed we just we stayed in like a bad area like we stayed in the worst neighborhood in san francisco like in the downtown part of san francisco so we had no idea that like the beautiful neighborhood that we currently live in or like all these rich people neighborhoods even existed so we just had the completely wrong idea about it. So from our first initial impression, it definitely would have been too sketchy, hard to relax. Yeah. But now that we've gotten to know it more, definitely incredible food. Yeah. Is it on the same level as London and Zurich? I think so. I don't think, like I think it's definitely a must visit, but like it's not as great as like Edinburgh. You know? Yeah, oh, it's definitely not the very best. Yeah. Does it fit in the second best, though? But, That's like, the you question. think, like, I think New York is the very best, but, like, you didn't, but we still put it up there. So, like, do you think SF is, like, the very best? Like, better than New York, Paris, and Edinburgh? Mm, no. No? No. Yeah, I think second best, honestly, which is crazy because we, like, picked one with here, but. Yeah, I. Yeah, now that we know everything we know about it, I would still say second best. Yeah. 
All right, so that was our ranking list of a lot of the places that we visited.